We know the future of innovation will be in the hands of today's students. Our internship program has proven to be a great way to expose these young minds to new ideas, our advanced technology, and our vision for the future. This has been particularly true with the Living Heart Project. This past year, we partnered with the Katia brand to do some incredibly important work in collaboration with Boston Children's Hospital to help save the lives of children in need of heart surgery. Although she had never used the CATIA tools or the 3D Experience platform, we immersed our intern Ashley directly into the multidisciplinary team for true experiential learning opportunity. Let's hear from Ashley how it went. I now understand why Dassault Systems is a 3D Experience company. My name is Ashley Stroh, and after nearly a year as an intern working with CATIA on the Living Heart Project, words cannot express how much I've appreciated the opportunity provided to me. One of the reasons I chose a career in biomedical engineering was due to my relative being born with a heart defect and the challenges he faces relating to it. His experience drives my passion to invest my career in improving the medical field. While I wasn't born yet to personally witness the impact on his life, I have been told many stories about how stressful it was and how it completely changed his life. Because of this, when I read the listing for an internship working on the Living Heart Project, I knew immediately that I should be involved and I applied. Looking back, I probably didn't have enough technical experience, but a personal connection encouraged me to try, and I was so happy when I found out that I got the position. At that point, I really only expected to be exposed to the basic functions of CATIA that would allow me to morph the living heart model to create simple disease states. Little did I know that, I'd be, that it would be just the beginning of a much more interesting and complex journey where I would learn how to apply 3, uh, 3D tools to help solve challenging medical problems. I've had the opportunity to not only modify the heart model, but also develop new methodologies to create patient-specific hearts, simulate function within, within simulia, and work alongside actual surgeons to create realistic disease states of the model. Considering I came to Dissociative Systems as a second-year sophomore, knowing only basic 3D modeling and nothing about simulation, it was an amazing learning experience to work with the living heart model under the guidance of a world-class team of experts. Like most students, I'm focused on my personal education and never thought that an intern's work could have so much impact. With my previous internships, I learned a lot, but I was never given the opportunity to contribute anything with a larger meaning. Not something that would become the new standard after I left. It is really motivational to know that my work will be in the model forever to be used by research groups, medical device companies, and surgeons in the future. It was a lot of hard work, but I couldn't have asked for more from an internship, and I truly appreciate the, the mentorship from everyone involved. Through this opportunity, I've been able to make valuable connections learn more than I ever thought I would about modeling and simulation and contribute, contribute to a project I know will make a difference, not only surgeons and students, but more importantly, the families of patients just like mine. In such a short time, I've come to appreciate that there are so many things in the modern world that we take for granted. There was a time when designing airplanes was inefficient and expensive because it was based off of trial and error. Through 3D modeling and simulation, this process has become simplified and streamlined with companies using products like Katia. The same shift is happening for, for human modeling, specifically with a human heart model, using 3D experience. It has been really neat to witness the shift firsthand and to actually be able to contribute to it. Understanding the technical issues was only part of my learning experience. One of the goals of the Living Heart Project is to develop educational tools for people to be able to communicate effectively about issues with the heart. I've experienced this firsthand while modeling congenital heart defects. For this project, we worked with Dr. David Hoganson, to create realistic heart models of the three most common defects, ventricular septal defect, atrial septal defect, and tetralogy of flow. We had a couple email chains containing images to base the modeling off of, but it was too difficult to accurately place the defects, even with extensive research. With time being limited, I organized a conference call with Dr. Hoganson and his team to dive into the details of my modeling efforts. I had never seen any of these defects in real life, but they had. My initial attempts left a lot of work to correct, but with collaborating, we could create the defects together. Using CATIA, I morphed the model in real time, driven directly by their experience as surgeons in the OR. Keep in mind that all of this happened during the COVID pandemic, hundreds of miles apart. It ended up being very efficient and was neat to see how it directly co uh, connected with the goal of engineers collaborating directly with doctors for the Living Heart Project. Working in an industrial environment, I heard a lot about enabling innovation for new medical devices. During my internship, a special interest group was created to connect our teams with surgeons, researchers, and other experts to work on improving mitral valve modeling. It has been particularly interesting to see this group from different companies, universities, and hospitals 
collaborate to tackle a common goal. It was also one of the main sources of valuable connections I've made, which I know will help my career. One of my favorite projects of this internship was for the special interest group. In trying to model Corday for the mitral valve that could be easily adjusted, I ended up writing a script to parameterize their locations on the valve. I really like how programming is a giant puzzle, and I didn't expect to be able to program anything within the platform. It was a great surprise when I learned it was possible and that I was the one who got to work on it. I really enjoyed my internship, and it has been great to learn from people who are so knowledgeable and to contribute to something so meaningful. This experience has helped my career in ways that I have never expected, but more importantly, it has changed me in ways that I'll never forget. Thank you all so much for this great opportunity. Thanks, Ashley, for sharing your story, your motivation for joining our team, and your great contribution to this important work. Of course. So if you had one piece of advice for future interns, what would it be? I'd say don't go into an application thinking that you don't have enough experience for something. Just try for it, and it may open up a new opportunity that you never really expected. When you're young, you can still have a direct impact on science and be able to change people's lives, even if you don't expect to be able to. Wonderful. Well, thanks, Ashley. We really appreciate your work and look forward to a really bright future together. Thank you.